Welcome to Tyro TV, I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And for those of you that don't know us, Ron and I are the co-founders of The Ridge Project and the co-creators of Tyro. Tyro is a Latin word which means apprentice, novice, someone learning something new, a warrior. Oh yeah, and when we say yeah. the word warrior, what we mean is learning to war or fight for your legacy, to become a leader in your home, your workplace, and your community. You know, one thing that you just said, Kathy, we gotta learn how to do that. You know, so guys, listen, this is not natural. It is, it, it leaders are not born they're made. Mm -hmm. And being a father where you're at right now from behind prison bars and then when you get home and, and re-enter your, your family, this is learned behavior. Right. You've got to be able to put into practice the things that you're learning in there so that you can apply them out here and then you can become successful, a successful dad, a successful husband, and all these things that you're striving to become. And right now, you're in the battleground, you're oh, in your training we. camp, and you're learning these, these skills. And we are fortunate enough that we get to impart the things that we've learned into you. Right. And how we learned them was we learned them in the school of hard knocks. Yep. Ron did 15 years on the inside while the kids and I did the 15 years on the outside. And so we understand the culture of incarceration. We understand the impact on the lives of our families. And so out of that experience, we learned so much about overcoming obstacles, about building a healthy, strong, successful family. And so our passion is to teach the people coming behind us how to not just achieve what we've achieved as far as a stable, healthy, thriving family, but also to out pace us. You know, so what we're saying is there's life after penitentiary, dads. Right. There's life after the experience you're having in there. If you embrace the knowledge and the understanding what it's going to take to get there, you know, and so today's word, we're going to talk about three pillars, mm -hmm. right? We're going to talk about mental, physical, and emotional exercise. Ooh -wee. So Ooh -wee. really we're talking about fitness. We're talking about exercise. And what does it mean to really be fit? What does it really mean to exercise? You know, Ron, if we say the word exercise, he right away thinks push-ups, right? And I don't even know, like, the four different kinds of push-ups. I don't do that. Uh, more than that. <laughs> anyway, I don't do that. So when I hear the word exercise, I think exercise self-control. I think exercise uh, regulation, right? Self-regulation. And so today we're going to break it all down for you on how you can actually Actually, where you are right now, begin to exercise in order to prepare yourself for a successful transition back into your home and your community. You know, as we talk about Tyro, we talk about Tyro Fit, right? Mm. We're, and something that, that we're creating here back at the Tyro world. You know, we could also call it Tyro Fit, and especially fitting for this audience, right? Fathers in training. Oh, yeah. Right? And so, and so today we're going to talk about the three pillars and what it takes to really, as Kathy said, self-control, self, -control, self uh, not self-centered in a negative way, but centering yourself. Oh. Oh, yeah. So that you're able to re-enter to society successfully. That's right? right. Okay, dads, fathers in training, you stay tuned. We will be right back with a lot more on how to exercise and prepare for re-entry. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. Playing catch, basketball, laughing, and enjoying each other's company. These are all normal things on the outside, but many times are missed in a visitation setting. Tyro Dads brings the same fun experience to the inside through family days. As a Tyro Dad, you have the opportunity to participate in this fantastic event. Family Day is designed to allow fathers and families to engage with each other through activities designed to stimulate communication, learning, and play. Family Days will not only be a highlight for you, but for your children as well. The Ridge Project has strategically developed Family Day as an opportunity to help you connect with your child throughout your separation and help both of you develop skills to continue building your relationship when you return home. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tierina. And I'm Kathy Tierina. And today we're talking about fathers in training. Woo! Right? And when we talk about training, we're talking about fitness, we're talking about exercise, and we're not just talking about physical. Physical. Though physical is good, right? <laughs> physical but, is important too. But we're not just going to keep it there, fellas. We need to talk about mental and emotional exercise. Yes, mental, emotional, and physical. The three pillars, if you really want to be healthy, you want to be fit, you really want to transition in a great way from prison back into society and especially back into your children's lives, you've got to work on every area of yourself. And you got to really figure out, you know, what extremes, because I know in prison, yeah. a lot of guys will 
grab a hold of something and they will stay right there. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's like a, a guy goes to prison, he becomes a bodybuilder, right? And that's all he wants to talk about. Right. He don't want to talk about anything else. He don't want to talk about anything mental or emotional. Just it's physical fitness. Just physical fitness. And then a guy who becomes a, we'll say a jailhouse lawyer, right? He's working his mental faculties, mm-hmm. right? He's getting smart, reading all this law. Guess what he wants to talk about? Just Right, or he law or <laughs> philosophy, right? They're just thinking philosophy and in, in the whole regulation of emotions and ensuring that your emotions are in line. Okay, that's great, but it's part of the holistic approach. If you really want to be a fit dad, you are a mm. father in training, then you have got to work on every area of your life. Your kids are depending on you. So what we're talking about is not just compartmentalizing your fitness, not just saying, oh, I'm going to exercise physically. I'm going to get in physical fitness. You know what? I'm going to really work on my mental capacities. I'm really going to grow mentally. Or wow, I'm really going to work on my emotional stability. You know, you can't just work on one. You've got to work on the whole package in order to be successful as a dad, as a partner, and as a person in society. You know, we we could look at these areas where people have become so successful because they have great talent. Yeah. But they never worked on their emotional or mental faculties. They worked on their hard skills. They became really good at something, on the physical aspect of something. But they were lagging or or lack Mm. thereof in every other area of their life. Right. You know, the, the people that we see that struggle the most as they transition from in prison to out, and, and we've seen tens of thousands of people go from inside to out, okay, is that the people we see that struggle the most are the ones that only worked on physical fitness. That was the only thing they did. And then they transition out into society, and they don't have the resiliency that they need emotionally and mentally in order to be successful. And so the first time or the second time or the third time that they encounter resistance, they give up, and they go right back into doing the things that they used to do. We want to help you ensure success. And so the three areas that what we're talking about to be successful are as a partner, as a papa, and as a person. And a person is how the society views you. Papa, obviously, is how your children view you. And partner is how your romantic other, your your wife, right, or your partner views you. You know, this is really important because, as Kathy said, we've seen a lot of people transition from inside the prison and out here, but all they did was work out, <laughs> run, do push-ups, pull-ups, and dips, right? Push-ups, pull-ups, and dips. That's the, the <laughs> you know, we don't got weights. That's what you get to do. But they never pick up a book. They never start writing their story. They never start learning how to read or write. They never go back and get their G. They never go and really understand what it means to be a holistic individual, a, a healthy adult. And this is why this is really important. This is, this is what is this? What is exercise? Exercising where the opportunity that you have inside the penitentiary, you're in the best place you can be. Mm-hmm. You get to work on every aspect of your being, of who Ooh, you are. Wait, that's right. right. And you got to put in the work, just like you love you. Maybe you only started out with doing one push-up. Mm-hmm. Right? Then you worked your way up to five push-ups. Well, same right. thing with, with writing. Maybe you could only write one word. Maybe you got to relearn your alphabet. Or right? maybe you've never read a whole book until you came to prison, and now you're reading all these books, but you're neglecting your physical fitness, right? And you're neglecting your emotional fitness. So what we're going to talk about today is we're really going to break down all three of these and the importance and really why it's important. We're going to explain to you how to build resiliency and strength mentally, emotionally, and physically, because you are going to need all three of these pillars in order to be successful on the outside. I guarantee you that if you are sitting in prison, which obviously you are, then you were not working on building all three of these areas. You didn't have this three-legged stool to hold you up on the outside before you came to prison. So now is a perfect opportunity. You've got the perfect time right now while you're still in prison to work on fitness in every one of these areas. So stay tuned. We're going to dive deep into this conversation. You don't want to miss this. Take out a pen and paper because you want to write some notes down on this one. So stay tuned and we will be right back. Pyro Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You will begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions. 
to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro, or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we are talking about three powerful pillars that you, inside the penitentiary, really need to come to a place of embracing. We're talking right? about exercise today. We're talking exercise. about exercising to build strength in three key areas of your life your mental, your physical, and your emotional health. You know, personally, I think for me, the first thing I started to work on when I was incarcerated wasn't my physical. I'll tell you that. It was not my <laughs> That's physical. That's true. It was not. You know, and I didn't realize it. Right. I was depressed. Mm -hmm. But I began to read. I began so to write. I first. worked on the mental. And, but, and I had trouble with emotional because I thought I was already there. But I was a grown man with little boy issues right. but didn't know it. Right. So, I think, so So, Ron, you know, if I yep. look back and think about our journey, you worked on mental first, then physical, then emotional, yep. in that order. Um, and, and I don't even know if you were consciously saying, okay, let me fix this, then let me no, add this. I, no, I wasn't. That. I was just, I was trying to keep us together, yeah, right, yeah. Um, and working on that aspect, but still trying not, not to throw a temper tantrum when yep. I didn't get my way, so, <laughs> but yeah. I didn't, but that's how I was, you know. Right, right. I was Before always throwing a temper tantrum. Yeah. And so, and then on the outside, I worked first on emotional and, and creating emotional stability for my kids and my family, and then mental learning, and then third, physical. Yep. Um, so physical was at the bottom of my list, and actually, I was only inspired to even think about physical when Ron began to say, hey, you know what? We need to eat better. We need to be thinking about what we're putting in our bodies. We need to be thinking about making sure that we're healthy and strong to lead our kids. And so it's so important, and that, that last thing I said is the key. You're leading your children into a future that is either defined by poverty, defined by victimization, defined by a, a lack of, of self-regulation, and therefore uh, a life that is just full of chaos, or you're purposely leading your children into a life defined by hope and peace and righteousness and empowerment and self-regulation. And Dad, I know you want those great things for your kids. And that's why it's so important that you be, have to begin to adopt that and model that in your own life. You know why this is really important? is because you're in the best training grounds you can be in, That's Dad. Right. You are being prepared for something greater, and you don't even know it because mm -hmm. your past does not define who you are, but it will qualify you for something greater if you learn from it. So by activating all these, these pillars in your life and understanding and being conscious mm -hmm. why you're learning this. You know, when I was working on, on the mental aspect of mm -hmm. it, learning how to really write again, right? Learning how to read again, mm -hmm. because I never read. I mean, I could read, but I never read right. when I was on the street. So I started reading and enjoying reading, came mm -hmm. to a place of, wow, my it takes your imagination somewhere. So I was, I was really learning how to dream again. Mm, that's right. Right. Yes. So that was my mental. Then my emotional. Again, now that wasn't really. I didn't really. Uh, so I tried to. Your second one, I think, was physical. Yeah, my second was physical, and that only happened because somebody took me alongside, <laughs> and they said they needed to show me something, yeah. and they showed me these guys working out, and they were kind of overweight and stuff like that. But then, you know, I said, "Wow, you know." And they said, "Hey, TJ." That's you, man. But they're at least trying to work out. They're at least doing something. What are you doing about it? And so yep. that, that, that revelation or that wake-up call for me was, wow, I need to do something about it. Yep. But somebody had to point it out. Yeah, somebody had to say you're walking around with a huge life preserver around you. Yep. You don't need that life preserver. It's actually detracting from your life. But, but I was depressed, and I didn't right. know it because I'm eating breaks at mm -hmm. midnight, eating yep. Debbie's at midnight, yep. really just trying to, to uh, uh, numb myself from right. the reality so that not, I was living. So not dealing with that emotional stress. Mm -hmm. That yep. resiliency and that strength, when you exercise and you actually have to exercise your mental capabilities in order to grow strong mentally, you have to exercise emotional self-regulation mm -hmm. in order to grow strong emotionally, and you have to exercise your muscles in order to grow strong physically. If you neglect any area of your life, you are going to walk out unbalanced. Mm. Gentlemen, listen to me. Your kids are counting on you. Your society, your communities are counting on you. Your partner yep. is counting on you. In order to really come out, this is your boot camp. This is an incredible opportunity you have, and I know it's hard to see it that way, but when you switch that mental perspective and you start to regulate your emotions and say, you know what, this situation sucks, but I have the opportunity to make the absolute best 
of this situation. And so these are the things that I have power and control over. And those are your mental growth, your emotional growth, and your physical growth. You know, I, I remember meeting guys in there that were like magazine cut, right? Mm -hmm. Just trim, but they didn't know their ABCs. They were right. in, I was an AB teacher, ABE, mm -hmm. adult basic education, and they would be my students because mm -hmm. they didn't have a GED. They maybe dropped out of school at sixth grade. We realized life is tough out here right. too, right? Yeah. And things happen in your life that end you up in penitentiary. And so they, they fall in love with physical workout. Now I get that because these endorphins mm -hmm. that kick in when you're, right. when you're, when you're doing pull-ups, when you're lifting weights, I understand that. But see, now here's what happened to me mm -hmm. when somebody took me alongside and, and I was a percussionist, a drummer inside the penitentiary, so I'm playing for with all these bands, and, and they took me alongside one of my one of my mentors. Took me, they say, "Hey, TJ, why is it when we see you playing the drums, yep. we see um, all these other principles activated, exactness, discipline, practice, and all these great things activated in your life, but everything outside of this world yep. is chaos." Yep. You see, I wasn't practicing that type of discipline that I did <laughs> behind the drums. Yeah, I didn't I didn't apply that anywhere, anywhere else. else in my life. Yep. Yep. And so then as you began to, as, as Ron actually inspired me to become healthier, as he began to practice principles, I was like, wow, you know what? I need to join him on this path of a continuous improvement. You see that he inspired mm. me, even though he was in prison, he inspired me to want to be better because he wanted to be better. And so I was like, you know what? That's right. I can't just continue to live in mediocrity because I am holding my children back. I'm going to have to, I, and Ron, mm. we are the ones that's setting the standard for our children. If we don't do it, then nobody else is going to do it. Or God forbid, somebody else is going to do it and make it even lower. So when we come back, we're going to talk about how you can begin to do that. How you practice these strength training exercises while you're still in prison. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. Dear son, it's been hard these last few years watching you grow up without me in the picture. Never taking the time to find out how you were or what was going on in your life. You're just a boy, I thought. You don't need me. I didn't need my dad. He was never around, I told myself. But I was wrong, son. I'm supposed to be a grown man. I was selfish. I was stupid. I was thinking of me, not you. If I could go back, son, and change things, I would. It's taken me all this time being selfish to finally grow up and realize I need to be a responsible man. That's what I finally learned, not from prison, but the Tyro program. It's all about becoming a better, stronger man. Wish I would have gotten it sooner. Everything looks different to me now. I'm a changed person. I know I need to be there for you now. It's not about me anymore. It's not about being cool. It's not about who I run with. It's about mom. It's about you. It's about being a better man, learning something new in my life. It's about being a Tyro, a man worth following. I'm your dad. You're my son, and I love you. I am a Tyro. I'm a Tyro. Dad. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or just want to know more, contact your local Ridge Project facilitator or your caseworker. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tirina. And I'm Kathy Tirina. And today we're talking about exercising. Ooh. Exercising the three pillars in your life that you can do. You know, one of the things that I hear guys... Um, talk about, you know, that they're doing time and, and they're, they're becoming bitter and they're not growing right. with this great opportunity. They're not growing. In fact, they're leaving worse than when they got there. They're going back into society with such anger and malice towards people and towards their situation that they never stop to embrace the experience and realize that, listen, you could have left there educated, mm -hmm. motivated, right. inspired, healthy, and holistic approach right. of penitentiary. You in the you're in the best training ground, and I know this is hard to hear, man. Yeah, it is hard to hear. It was hard for me to hear, but I had other guys yeah. in prison tell me when they sat me down. They said, "Listen, you are in the best place you can be right now. You don't have to leave the way you came in here. Mm -hmm. You can leave so much healthier. You can leave as a healthy adult, but you need to put the work in. That's right. You need <laughs> to look around you and take advantage of every opportunity you have before you to become better in every area of your life." 
life. So today we're talking about three of the pillars, right? But there are other areas too that you need to grow strength in. So the three we're talking about today are mental, emotional, and physical. And so how to do it, that's what we're gonna break down right now. How do you actually do it? So the first thing is really taking a self-assessment. Looking at yourself and saying, okay, how do I think? What are my thinking patterns? Are these healthy or unhealthy? Right? What are my emotions? Do I, can, am I able and capable of self-regulating? What am I eating? How am I exercising? Am I physically making sure that I am fit, that I'm taking care of this vehicle that I'm in? And so doing that self-assessment, taking a hard look at yourself, we know is not easy because we have to face the truth of where we are. So the second one, after you do it, now I love what you, how you said that, Kathy, a hard look at yourself. Mm-hmm. That means you're going to peel back the onions and you're going to really look at see where you're at. But the th- second one is, is to look at your environment. Mm. Who are you hanging around with? Right? If you're hanging around with guys who are always trying to get over on people, who are always trying to, to fight with people, or always they just seem to always want to argue, maybe they're not your best uh, antidote for you. Maybe emotionally they're not ready to go right. where you want to go. So you need to find yourself. Here's the second one. Find yourself a group of people in there who can empower you mm-hmm. to understand what it looks like to be healthy. Because if you don't know what healthy looks like, right, and you're looking at the peers around you and none of them are healthy, you're not going to get very far. <laughs> That's right. right. You need people around you that are adding fuel to the right fire. Say that. Adding fuel, fuel to, to the, the right, right fire. fire. Because there's the bad fire, right? You know that people are adding that fuel to the fire to get you more and more worked up and upset and distracted. But then you also know that there are people that add the fuel to the right fire. The fire to the burn inside of you to become better. The, the, the encouragement to say, you know what? I can do that. I can overcome this. And when you surround yourself with people that are adding fuel to the right fire, now you have got the, the um, accountability, right? But also the power that's going to propel you towards the things you want. And the last one is really, it's a, it's a, it's a phrase that we love using at Tyro Fit or Tyro World, right? Yes. Practice makes permanent, mm-hmm. right? So you're doing something, whether you've been doing something so negatively for such a long time, it be, it's become permanent in your life. Right. Well, now we want you to flip it because when you're exercising your emotional, when you're exercising your mental and you're exercising physical, you're practicing something with purpose and you're Ooh. doing it on purpose, right. right? And so you want this to become permanent in your life. Because you know, if you if you do ten pull ups and you did all of them wrong, mm. that's practice. You're gonna be like lopsided, and stuff like that, <laughs> right? They always or hurt yourself, right? Or hurt yourself. They always yeah. say when you're doing arm curls, start with your weakest arm, right? Mm-hmm. Because you'll know how many reps you do with your weakest arm, then you do the same reps with your, your your with the arm you always use, right? Your strongest arm. Well, same thing with mental. These these things here. When you're when you're practicing self assessment, when you're practicing the the add the right fuel to the right fire mentality, right? right? And when you're really practicing something permanent, these three things in your life will help you catapult into a whole new level of existence Mm -hmm. that you never thought possible. And they're going to say, wow, where did you get your knowledge from? Where did you get all this wisdom? And when you tell them the penitentiary, they're going to be like, wow, are you kidding me? (laughs) That's right. No, people do not realize, people do not recognize the enormous potential that resides inside our prisons across America. But you know what you do? Take time, when we think about the self Assessment. We want you to step back. We want you to look at you and then put your head up as it's step number two when you're looking at your surroundings. We want you to say, okay, what do I need to connect myself to and who do I need to connect myself to in order to become better emotionally, mentally, and physically? And then step three, begin to connect yourself to those three things. Find the classes that you need to be taking. Read the books that you know you need to be reading. Connect yourself to the people you know are going to encourage you in the right way. And then find somebody that's going to help you. There are all kinds of physical trainers inside prison. We know, right? Find somebody that not only is going to train you physically, but also they've got the right attitude. You know, I want to add one more thing. I'm going to add the fourth one, right? Be a student. Mm, a learner. Be a learner, mm-hmm. right? And this is what a tyro is, somebody who's always learning. I know you got friends in there and you got clicks and you're, maybe you're hanging around people, but I'm going to challenge you. Take a step back and analyze when you do your self-assessment to analyze, am I in, a, in the best place I can be at with this group of people? Right. Or am I, I, what I want, what I'm trying to say is that you look at yourself as a student. That means you're seeing the penitentiary as one big schoolhouse. Mm-hmm. And in this schoolhouse are many teachers. Mm-hmm. So if you can surround yourself with people who who are going to pour into you and the teach you. The best teachers. The best teachers in right. there. We're talking about 
things of, of goodness, things of, right. of righteousness, things that are going to help you become a better dad, mm-hmm. right? And you surround yourself with this. This is, means that you're as a student, you don't have time for clicks. You right. don't have time for gangs. You don't have time because you already have somebody you're coming home to, your family, your kids, dads. Mm-hmm. You're coming home to them and you need to be equipped, what? Emotionally, mentally, and yes, physically right. to go into that role as being a healthy father, a healthy man of honor, somebody right. worth following. That's right. And what we're not spending time on today is talking about spiritually, but you know also you have got a wide, vast array of spiritual components available to you right there in prison. And so as you work on all those other areas, maybe the person that's going to help you grow emotionally and mentally is somebody that you're going to connect to in a, in a spiritual community. So don't neglect that either. So when we think about growth, you know, we, you've got to grow the whole person in order to be stable and healthy and prepared to face every challenge that you're going to face on the outside so that your children are going to look at you and they're going to see you as stable, fit dad, not unfit, unstable dad. And you are going to set a course of success for your children. So it's really important that you find balance also with this, right? If you know you, if you were spending all day on the handball court, all day in the weight room, all day in the law library, all day in, in the chapel. Listen, you got to find balance in your life. Mm-hmm. And this is really important. So look at your life, examine it, do a self-assessment. What are you doing to get better? Look at the people around you. Who's fueling your desires and your dreams to become a better father? That's right. And then practice makes permanent. So we're going to take a short break. and we come back, we're going to wrap it all up for you. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Cairo Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You will begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tierina. And I'm Kathy Tierina. And today we've been talking about really one of my favorite subjects, you know, exercising. The importance of exercising. The importance of, of really looking at yourself, Dad, and saying, okay, where am I weak at in my life? Where am, where am I struggling at? You know, I know there's a lot of guys in the penitentiary, and like I said, they're buff and they're cut up, but they're emotionally broken. Right. right? Then I know a lot of guys who are, are so brilliant in mindset, right, but they're physically broken, right? right? Yep. And emotionally broken. All these things, right? But you don't have to leave broken. That's the greatest oh, thing about yeah. penitentiary. You don't have to leave lacking in areas of your life because you're in the best place you can be at if you embrace the experience and say, you know what, I'm going to be a student in here. Mm-hmm. I, I know there's great teachers in here and I want to sit underneath them. Now listen, yeah. guys. So now here's the thing, man. We're going to wrap this up. You got to humble yourself. Oh, You got to humble yourself because before I went to penitentiary, I thought I knew something, but what we didn't know was what I did. What I didn't know was what I didn't know. And, and so I the, know, right? the biggest problem Ron had is he was unteachable. So he, it wasn't that he didn't have access to people that were willing and able to teach him to become stable emotionally, mentally, and physically. It's that he rejected, listen to this, he mm. rejected the instruction. And so then we found ourselves in a prison experience because we couldn't be taught. We couldn't be taken at our word and we couldn't be taught. On because the I was a grown man with little boy issues. And little I was a boys. grown woman yep. with little girl issues. Because little boys don't want to hear it. We don't want to be told. And yep. so you take that same mentality, right. right? That childlike mentality into your adult life. And guess what? You end up doing so 10 in the quarter, five in the quarter. Just because we think we know it doesn't mean we really know it until we begin to practice it. Practice makes permanent in your life and for your children. 
So the things that you know you ought to be doing, connect to somebody that knows how to do those things. Build those new connections and those relationships to help you become the best person that you can be, the best dad you can be because your children are counting on you. So one of the last things I want to add, listen, this is a courageous time in your life. You have an opportunity to create a different legacy, mm. but you got to have courageous conversations with who first? Yourself. Mm -hmm. And you got to empower yourself. You say, you know what? I'm going to cut the umbilical cord off certain relationships yep. and I'm going to create new bridges with new relationships where they're healthy because maybe you came in the joint came in the penitentiary and you've seen your old clan your old mm -hmm. your old buddies you know the old tribe that you've been running with and they and they all wind up in prison you gotta ask yourself wait all of us wind up in prison yep, man yep. there's gotta be something wrong with this group of people <laughs> that's right mentally emotionally physically and spiritually this is your opportunity to stabilize your life to create a foundation upon which you can grow success for yourself and your children. Don't run from the lessons that are in front of you. Embrace them. Many men in there would love to teach you how to become a man of honor, how to be a man of good character. Because the saying is, when the student is ready, the teacher will come. Mm -hmm. So put yourself in a place to be ready, to be taught, to learn, so that when you leave the penitentiary, you leave whole, you leave healthy, and you leave strong. Mm -hmm. Right? So we just want to take a few moments to thank you for allowing us to be part of your journey. Until next time, always remember that, that we are rooting for you.